Rodriguez. Welcome to Daily Blast Live. Now, Adam, we're gonna jump right in here. You recently wrapped three years on Criminal Minds. One, I have two questions here. Was it hard leaving that show? And two, do you still keep in touch with your castmates from that show? Yes, it was it was hard leaving that show. You know, when you when you have a group of people that you love being with every day and a crew that you that, that you feel the same way about, it's it's hard to it's hard to say goodbye and move on. You know, it doesn't happen that way all of the time. And so it was hard to to walk away. And there's a running group text with the castmates from Criminal Minds and I I don't think that more than like I don't think more than three or four days goes by before somebody on that chain checks in with everybody. So I, I think that's the same thing actually with the show I'm doing now, Penny Dreadful City of Angels. I think that uh, people in my family, we really bonded on this show, really bonded very strongly. We, I really genuinely feel like these people um, are my younger siblings. Yeah, and I gotta tell you, congratulations on your new Showtime series. I was gonna mention that, Penny Dreadful. You play uh, Raul, that's your character's name. What most people yeah. today would call a social justice warrior, right? We will not be moved. And you will be pushed. I, yeah, I think that, uh, yes, he is a crusader for the working man, more so than, than, than social justice. But I think back then, social justice sort of went hand in hand with fighting for the working man. And so, I, uh, yeah, I, I think that's a, somewhat accurate way to describe him. How would you compare your characters from each show? Are there differences? Are there similarities? I just have a natural sense of wanting to fight for what's right, no matter what. And that's that's been a part of who I am my whole life. And so I do think that a lot of the characters I've played have an element of that, whether it's fighting for what's right in terms of you know justice um, or upholding the law, or if it's actually in the case of Raul fighting against what what the law is and and you know um really pushing back to say that what the law is or what the law is trying to do isn't right it isn't fair and and, and it isn't just and so um there's there's a legitimate fight on both sides and, and i think raul in, in this case ends up on the side that uh that is against the law you're up for a third magic mic roll and probably looking really good what are you doing to stay in shape while you're in quarantine? <laughs> Running around after these kids is keeping me in shape. We've got, uh, we've got a little trampoline in the backyard that is mandatory to get on every day. And so I'm putting at least 30 minutes of trampoline time every day. That's helping me keep in shape. And um, other than that, running around the house, I have I started off strong. I was hitting the exercise bike every day. I was doing some, you know, some some calisthenics and really, you know, really going after it. And then I would say in the last two, three weeks, I've sort of tapered off and, and the trampolines become my main, you know, my main bit of exercise. But I think it's it's time to step it up just in case that magic mic call comes in again. <laughs> All right, man. Well, keep up the good work. Congratulations on all the success and even more so congratulations on your beautiful family. I hope we talk to you soon.